hello guys and welcome back to another franchise mode video and today we are simming all the way to the trade deadline and passing it so it's gonna be a very tough video today uh, let's just um, I want to show you guys our picks we have for this year which is gonna play a big role in what we're gonna do with Jonathan Taze and Patrick Kane so right here we have our first and Tampa Bay's first and then our, our second Tampa Bay's second two more thirds we got a lot of picks but you know what? I feel like we shouldn't be doing good with all these picks. So I do want to trade Pasher Kane and Taze before the trade deadline. So we're not going to trade them right now. Let's get Simming, see what happens. But I want to trade them sooner than later, get the most value we can for them. Uh, yeah, hopefully we can get maybe another first. Well, definitely for Kane, but uh, we'll see for Taze. Shootout lost there to Arizona, lost there to Calgary. Now the Colorado Avalanche are up next in Seattle and in Chicago. And 7-4 loss, but we do beat Seattle 5-1. Now the Buffalo Sabres, 4-0 loss. All right, let's see the stats of, of Kane. 44 points in 42 games. Like I am almost completely sure someone would be wanting to trade for him but I think his value might be too high where they're not gonna actually offer it to my well to me yeah that's one of those things let's see Jonathan Taze too his value is getting low now yeah no wow Domi is rising up the ranks look at that value right there Domi having a good season wow almost point per game damn yeah so uh I'm gonna go try to find a trade for Patrick Kane and I'll be right back with you guys all right, guys, so it looks like we're out of luck right now. Doesn't look like too many teams are interested in him. And when I did look at their teams and their rookies, I was not a fan. So we're just in a trade deadline. Maybe some teams will change their mind. But uh, I don't want to make everything super unrealistic and get some medium elite that's insane and just scam a team. I want to I wanna make it a real trade like they really want him. So, yeah. And, wow, we did pretty good offensively those last two games. Now 7-2 loss. 19, 22, and 5, so we are going down a bit, but we beat Calgary 6-3. We're having some big offensive games, but our defense is not it sometimes. Almost 500 now, which is pretty good, considering our our team's level. Uh, kind of surprising, honestly. I mean, I was hoping we'd be tanked for Bedard. We're not that bad, but we are not that great as well, so that's why I'm trying to hope that Kane and Taze could go for a good little bit. Maybe status for the future. But, uh, wow, still doing very good. We beat Montreal, lose over to, or shootout against Toronto. Now Ottawa, that is a shootout loss once again. That's three straight games with points. A, a win against Toronto again right there. Now we are 500, 8-3 win, and a 3-2 overtime loss. And, wow, we got a lot of points here. Holy crap, we are rising up right now. Holy God, stop winning, guys. <laughs> we are almost in the playoffs. We might have to keep Kane and Taze possibly for one more year. 60 points. Oh, my God. Here, let's let's sim to the day before the trade deadline. It's going to be a tough decision because right here, okay, 4-3 loss, but we got to decide if we're just going to end the playoff chances and tank or if we're going to go for one more thing and and possibly not get a great return next season. That is our issue right now. Tay's having a good year. Patrick Kane, 61 points in 61 games. Point per game, he is incredible. 30 goals as well. Wow. All right. Let's see. Defense, Seth Jones, 34 points, which is pretty good. Riley Stillman having a good season, 23 points. That is very nice to see. Goalies, 904 for Mrazek, 904. We can't really ask for much more. Like, I'll, I'll take that. Now let's go entire league, see what's going on around here. Johnny Goudreau lighting up the league, 85 points, 62 games. Matthews right behind by two. McDavid one behind Matthews. So those three are running away with our Ross, but uh, Patrick Kane, Dreisaitl, and Kucherov not too far behind either. Now we'll go to goals. Let's see what's going on over there. 
Matthews in the lead. Ovechkin far behind for second. Line A, Pasternak, McDavid, and Kane and Dreisaitl all right in the mix. So Matthews is probably almost guaranteed getting the Maurice Richard. But uh, Kane's still putting up a great season here. Um, so I'll show you guys what I've been looking at with Kane. So let's go to proposed trade. Doesn't look like too many teams are interested. It just frustrates me. I don't want to trade it to a team. I don't want to trade him to a team that doesn't want him because that is a big, big player. Like Boston, for example, no good rookies on that team. Calgary, like they could be okay. I'm just not too sure. Like Peltier, that's that's all right, but they don't even want to trade him. Still, I'd rather have Patrick Kane for even another year than do that trade. Uh, Carolina doesn't have many good rookies, especially rookies that I like. It's it's just we're in a tough, tough position here. It's really frustrating. Uh, Florida has no rookies. Here's the thing, Nashville now. Joachim Kamel, he is hurt, but we could trade for a medium elite. Let's try to make this happen here. If we can get a Nashville first and uh, Joachim Kamel. It is in our division, which I hate. I absolutely hate that. But Kamel could be a big part of our future. <sighs> uh, but I'm not sure. I'm going to wait to the trade deadline, actually. We're going to see what we can get for Taze and Kane trade deadline. Trade deadline. I'm hoping some team gets interested or desperate and uh, gives us a good, good asking price or a good price for them. Nashville's, uh, we're going against Nashville this next game, actually. So if we end up do making that trade, that's going to be crazy. Or if we do end up making that trade. Now in the trade deadline, Patrick Kane leading the way in the trade block. Has most value by far. Looks like Kane's Winnipeg and Florida are the most interested teams. But still, no uh, no matches for offers. That's so frustrating. Here, we'll go to available. Let's see if let's see if uh, where Jonathan Taze is sitting here. Jonathan Taze right there. Boston Rangers. Vegas. Let's see what these teams are offering. A second and a fourth is the only offer from the Ottawa Senators. I don't mind that. That is not too bad at all, actually. Players on the block. Whoa, 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 whoa. Josh Norris is on the trade block. 85 overall, 23 years old. We can maybe try and get something done here. Patrick Kane. They have the cap. Ooh. Let's do this. Let's do this. They, we can maybe get a massive trade done here. Uh, need defenseman. Here's the thing. Logan, or uh, Lassie Thompson. He's just, I, I just don't like his face. So, not a fan. Brandstrom hasn't worked out there. We can maybe go for him, but we have we have a Brandstrom type in uh, Seth Jones already, which is frustrating. Um, forwards. <sighs> See, here's the problem. Like, who else are we going for here? Like, we could go for other picks, but I don't know. I don't know if I want just Norris. <sighs> ah. Here, well, let's try it. Let's try it. Taste. Taze trade first. See what we get for Taze uh, from Ottawa. Jonathan Taze right here. So we'll go a second, second, and maybe if could we get Lassie Thompson. Okay, Lassie Thompson, and okay, the second's not gonna work, but possibly Lassie Thompson. And a th not that. Sorry, guys. Lassie Thompson and a th no no thirds. Wow, they have no thirds. They must have already made a few trades then. Lassie Thompson and four or three fourths rejected. Lassie Thompson and two fourths rejected here. Lassie Thompson and a fourth rejected as well. Hmm. Let's see. Lassie Thompson. For Jonathan Tay straight up is accepted. 
I like that trade a lot. Elias Thompson could be a solid, solid D-man for us in the future. So I think that's a pretty nice trade that we just got there. See if there's any RFAs that we can maybe snag here. Actually, here, let's find a trade for Josh Norris. Let's see what they are wanting. Max Domi. At, whoa, Athens, see you. What? What? Athens, to see you in two thirds. Wow. Let's see if we can. They want their own third back. All right, let's see if we can actually try and negotiate this deal here. Let's go Athens see you a third and a fifth for Josh Norris. That would be a huge addition to the team. Come on. Trade rejected. Okay, we'll offer a fourth instead. Athens see you a third and a fourth. Come on. No. He was traded. Are you absolutely are you actually kidding me? Are you actually freaking kidding me? That would have been such a good trade for me. I am such an idiot. I am actually such an idiot. That blows my mind. Seriously. Oh my god, man. Oh my god. That would have been huge for us, too. That would have been an amazing trade. That would have been actually a great trade for us. We could have had him for eight years on our team. He would have been an amazing second line center. They traded Goss Sparing a third and Bukestad for him. Are you freaking kidding me, man? Oh my god. <sighs> Alright, well now now I really want to be trading Kane here and get something back at least. Travis Sandheim might a little too old for me. I don't like that that much at all. Let's see if there's any younger younger players here that are on the block. Uh, Joseph, Pierre Oliver Joseph, 23 years old. Like, if we're trading, if we're going to trade Kane, it's going to be for a good amount, and he's going to get a lot back. So, here, let's go through quick and try to try to make a trade happen somehow. Let's see here. Proposed trade, Patrick Kane, right here. Let's see, Winnipeg was already interested so I, I wouldn't feel bad trading with them Cole Perfetti we can make that happen Cole Perfetti for Patrick Kane they are buyers ah, but they ah, I don't want to trade for Cole Perfetti when they don't even want to make the trade damn it I wish they still wanted that that would have been really nice Vegas, I don't like any of their assets on their team, really. Well, who did Vancouver just trade? Okay, not a big trade at all. Okay, rookie skaters here. No one I really like. Toronto's interesting. Nick Robertson, low elite, 80 overall, which is very solid. We can try to work something out with them, possibly. And maybe scoop up one of their defensemen. Maybe Rasmus Sandin. We can possibly do that. 50% retain. I think this could work. Like, I feel like this would be... Ah, no, no, no. I don't want to trade him for a rookie that's not going to be a big part of our team, though. That's my problem. Because I would have already done that by now if, if that was the case. Ottawa once again. Like, let's see if they got anything that I really do like. You know what? I'm not into it. I think we're going to keep Patrick Kane is staying a Blackhawk for at least the rest of the year, folks. Not moving anywhere. Here, now, let's see if there's anyone else that we can... Holy God, Philip Kurashev is a ton of value. And you know what? He's not even having that great of a season. Let's see if we can get anything for him. Fine trade. Sec two sec... Wait, is that second and a third? Second and a third? Two seconds. Rasmus Linen, no thanks. See if we can get a first from a team, maybe. Or maybe a good rookie. 
feel like Toronto, because he could be a good second line forward for somebody this season with those stats. He could be a good player for someone. So let's see if we can make a trade made with the Leafs if they're interested. They are. Let's try to get Nick Robertson here now. Nick Robertson has more potential, but Khrushchev is a better player right now, currently. So I feel like this trade would be really worth it, actually, in my opinion. Let's see if we can maybe get a nice little defenseman here, too. Maybe Timothy Lilligren. Timothy Lilligren here. Robertson and Lilligren. Khrushchev does not go through. Let's see other teams. Uh, ooh. Players on the trade block here. Wow, everyone's on the trade block. Holy God. They are they are getting rid of everyone in St. Louis. Pittsburgh, no one really interesting. Neither is Philadelphia. The Rangers. Robertson. Nashville once again. I don't like that. Uh, Minnesota. Minnesota might be interesting. Wallstead. Carson Lambos. We can try and make a trade for... Oh, no. They are not a buyer at all. Yeah. Sorry, guys, for taking a lot of time. These, these, are been, these have been some tough decisions. Yeah, I think I think Robertson is the play, maybe. The least, the least upgrade their forward. Maybe not for the future, but at least for this season. Dylan Holloway. Can we get a trade for Dylan Holloway? We can give up possibly another player here if they want one. Let's see. Who else would they want? Uh, let's see if we have any rookie forwards. Almost like a swap. No, we do not. I, I'd be willing to give up a draft pick here. I'd be willing to give up a third round pick. Khrushchev and a third for Dylan Holloway. They say no. Yeah, that's too much. I'm asking for too much. Dylan Holloway's too good. Too good for Philip Khrushchev. Uh, hey, even Broberg's pretty good. Good defenseman, Philip Broberg. Two-way. Not too bad. Maybe we could try and get Bro Broberg here. Or find another team. What time? Okay, so we still have a lot of time left. Still a ton of time. Just, ah, the, there's not a lot of good rookies right now in the NHL that people are offering. And it's just not not many at all. I think Calgary, maybe we could get a good rookie skater here. Let's try to go for Peltier and Joseph. If we can get, if we can get Jacob Peltier... Uh, and Pierre Oliver Joseph, that would be a great trade. Let's try it. Trade accepted. And that's a beauty trade right there. I really like that. That is very nice. And there's a trade offer incoming for Max Domi. That is a very interesting trade, but I don't know if I want to accept that. Yeah, we could we could just sell the house now. I mean, how how many... Years. One year left on Domi. He's going to want a ton of money. Let's just get him out of here. I mean, there's nothing to lose. We can get some assets uh, that I'd be happy with. Maybe. So does Caroline have any rookies? I know I've already checked. I have a terrible memory. But uh, here, we could go. We could try to get Ryan Suzuki. Ryan Suzuki back. Good playmaker. Even uh, Noel, Noel Gunler. That could be okay. I wouldn't mind that. Let's see if this goes through. Yeah, no. Ryan Suzuki is 21. Gunler is also 21, but I think Gunler is younger. If I'm not mistaken. He should be. Here, let's try to get both of them. Gunler and Suzuki. So let's put it in a fifth there. Don't mean a fifth for Suzuki and Gunler. A bit low. A fourth should get it done. Come on. S don't mean a fourth for Suzuki and Gunler. Bro. <laughs> and New Jersey just ruined everything. Come on, New Jersey. Here, we're going back. We're going to do this again. Grab these two guys. 
grab Domi. And a fourth. Okay, Domi and a fourth. Will this get the trade done? And it is accepted. Trade accepted. And we got a few more rookies once again. Very, very good. Let's go. And that's going to be all for this trade deadline. I do not want to do anything else. I'm very happy with all the trades we've done. I, 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 don't, think we, I don't think we did anything wrong. I mean, getting Josh Norris would have been really nice. That would have been nice for Andres Athens to see you. That's going to hurt for a little while. But, uh, you know, there's nothing we could have done. I didn't expect to get traded while we were negotiating with them. Like, God. But uh, that is what it is. I mean, we can't really complain. Okay, advanced day. Didn't mean to do that, but uh, it's fine. We get the win, though. And you know what, guys? With that, I'm going to offer Kane a one-year extension. Or a two-year extension, actually. Um, I have this thing on my phone where I can see who or how to get this cheapest as possible. You, got, you guys do 7.7 .7 times 0.85. We can get them for around 6.5. Five million, so that would be a very good contract, actually. And yeah, I'm gonna edit these lines. I'll show you guys what we have now. All right, guys. So these are the new and probably not improved the lines for the Chicago Blackhawks. Uh, first line: Athanasiu, Tyler Johnson now, and Patrick Kane still here, surprisingly for one more season at least. Uh, second line is now Boris Kachuk. Peltier and Taylor Radish. Now third line, Lafferty, Reichel, and Ryan Suzuki, new edition. Oh, Peltier also new new edition, forgot to mention that. And then Jujarkera, Blackwell, and Entwistle. And now first line defense now, Stillman and Jones, I guess same thing. But McCabe and lastly Thompson getting a chance. I'm not sure if he played. He played, oh, he played last game, I guess. But uh, 16 games yet yeah, last year in real life so he hasn't got a chance with Ottawa this year we're giving him a chance and now Caleb Jones and Jack Johnson goalies still the same Peter Mrazek and Arvid Soderblom if I'm not mistaken I think I saw us in a playoff spot no we are tied for a playoff spot we must be the worst team that's like if we do make the playoffs we'd be the worst team by a mile to be in there so <laughs> it'd be pretty funny if we end up if we end up making it, but I guess we'll see. Starting off, first game against Ottawa. Oh, I gotta edit these lines. We'll be back in a second then. All right, guys. So I did make a few changes. Stillman's still staying at the top. Thomas is now with uh, Jake McCabe, but I'm giving Pierre Oliver Joseph a chance here to play with the Chicago Blackhawks. And you know what? In possibly some important games, surprisingly. I mean, we lost that game, which I didn't get to show you guys. There was some cap issues, so I had to fix the rosters a bit. But, uh, yeah, these are some important games we're playing here. Even though our record is not great, there's a good possibility we can make it to the playoffs. 4-2 win right there, and that that puts us in a playoff spot. We get, uh, what is it, Over shootout loss here. And we beat Tampa. We're in a playoff spot by a decent amount now. Boston is a 6-5 overtime win. Nashville... 6-4 shootout win. And we are on a streak right now. A point streak. And can Chicago surprise the NHL and somehow make the playoffs after rebuilding their entire team? And still more points. We take those points at this point point, just make it in there. Another 4-3 shootout win. What is happening? Holy crap, Chicago. Oh, it's a 4-2 loss here, though. McCabe sprains his ankle. Till April 2nd. That's a loss against Vancouver. Dallas. 6 nothing win. That's a big win there. And uh, here, I'll, I'll edit these lines quick. I'll be back with you guys in a sec. Alright, guys. So, in case you're interested, look at this. Jacob Peltier. Great start on our team. Fitting in that second line perfectly. 12 points in 14 games. Plus 6. Absolutely replacing Jonathan Taze. As good as it can get. Taylor Radish here. 47 points did not know he was doing this good and uh, Chuck's having a solid season himself and Suzuki five points which is all right Reichel having a good season and even Lassie Thompson get a little three points in 14 games with us so not too shabby at all so we got a chance here 4-3 loss we are 
two points behind. Oh, okay, so we're tied for a wild card spot. Actually, we are now. We are actually a decent team. We are in the race with many people. So how many games we have left? New Jersey, Calgary, Vancouver, Seattle, Minnesota, Pittsburgh, Philadelphia. All right, these are big games here. Our lineup is fully healthy right now. We got to win these games. New Jersey is up next, and it's a 2-1 loss. Come on, Chicago. The Calgary Flames. We did make a big trade with Calgary, getting Peltier. And it's a 4-0 shutout win. Huge win. Still tied with the Kraken. Come on. Now against the Vancouver Canucks. Can we get a win here? We do. And we now have taken the wildcard spot from the, from the Seattle Kraken. And we have a massive game against them. This, this game right here on Saturday. Biggest game of the year for our team so far. Can the rookies step up in their, well, first, some of their first seasons, actually. Can they step up for the Chicago Blackhawks? Come on, five minutes in, still 0-0. We're out shooting them, though. And Seattle has the power play. Still 0-0. We kill it off. Good job, Chicago. Come on. Five minutes left in the first. Seattle gets their second power play, and it's killed off once again. There we go, penalty kill. <sighs> okay, 0-0, zero, zero, low-scoring game so far. We get a power play. We can't score on it either. But Vince Dunn breaks open the scoring. It's one nothing Seattle. We kill off another power play. Penalty kill's having a great game. Come on, halfway through the second. Seattle scores on the power play. Jordan Eberle. And now Vince Dunn is second goal of the game. He's having a crazy game. 3 nothing for Seattle. 4 nothing Yanni Gord. And it, Mraza gets pulled. It looks like it's over. This is a big choke by our team. We had to win this game. Yanni Gord. Murphy gets one to kind of soften the wound. But, uh, soften the wound. But, 5-1. 5-2. You know what, Jack Johnson? You never know. You know, they could pull the Leafs. Power play. Late. No, we can't score. It's a 5-2 loss for the Chicago Blackhawks. And we are now tied with Seattle Kraken once again for that wild card spot. And they actually take it over from us. So that is not what we like to see. Now, Minnesota not having a great year. Can we take advantage of that and get a big win here? Come on. Come on, Chicago. A point. But Kraken get the win. Come on, this is a huge game against Pittsburgh. Can we somehow pull it off? No, we cannot. But the Kraken have also lost, and there is a chance. There's still a chance. A win and a Kraken loss puts us into the playoffs. A win and a Kraken loss puts us into the playoffs. The biggest game of the season now for the Chicago Blackhawks against Philly. In the last game of the year, can we give ourselves a chance at sneaking in this wild card spot and shocking the world? Come on, five minutes in, and Owen Tippett makes it one nothing for Philly. <sighs> Ten minutes left. Come on, Chicago. We got to score here. There we go. Sam Lafferty on that third line makes it one to one ties up that game. There we go. And it's still a tie game going into the second. Come on. We need someone to clutch up for us. Five on three power play. Can't get a goal. Oh, can't take the lead, but we get another one. And Philly kills it off again. Kills off three power plays. Come on, Chicago. Someone, one of the rookies, someone needs to step up. Patrick Kane. We still have Patrick Kane. Come on. Come on, Kaner. There we go. Lafferty is second goal of the game. We take a one goal lead going to the third. Power play. Oh, we can't score on it. Come on. 3 1, Patrick Kane. That's why he's still here. Gives us a two-goal lead. And Patrick Kane, his second goal of the game, gives us a, gives us a three-goal lead. And there's three-goal three goal lead, five minutes left in the third. And it looks like it is over. And Chicago gets the win. But now it is all up to the Kraken. Can the Kraken move on or move to the playoffs with a big win here? And they did the Kraken win and spoil the Chicago Blackhawks' plans at making a trip to the playoffs. 
No way, man. 90 points for Patrick Kane. What a year. Th that is disappointing. I mean, we now we get a decent draft pick. I mean, I don't know how much better it would have been. <sighs> man, we were so close. Let's check the stats. Let's check the stats of the team. I mean, we can't even be upset, really. 90 points, Patrick Kane. What a season, man. Holy crap. Tyler Johnson, too. 58 points. I want to see. When was the last time you had a season like that? It was back in Tampa. 58. Last year, 7. 22 in Tampa. 31 in Tampa. A ton of seasons ago. 2015 was the last season, really, like this. Oh, uh, no. 2018 on uh, Tampa's, like, cup runs. But that is crazy. Athens to you, also 55 points. Great season. Taylor Radish, huge part of our team as well. Seth Jones picked it up. He looking like a terrible trade, but you know he did do very solid this year. Lucas Reichel, half a point a game, which is very nice to see. Kachuk, pretty good, 34. Riley Stillman, breakout year, 79 overall, but 28 points plus 20. That's as good as it gets. Peltier with us. I think he did solid. 15 points, 21 games. That's very good. Uh, let's go down here. Lassie Thompson, 8 points in 21 games. Plus 2. That's very, very nice for a rookie defenseman. Suzuki didn't do amazing. Neither did Pierre Oliver Joseph, but uh, can't ask for too much from them. Goalies, Mrazek, 908 save percentage. We we take that. We're we're happy with that, actually. I'm I'm quite pleased with that. Now, players, McDavid's going to take home that Art Ross. 44 goals, 2 for McDavid. 57 for Matthews. He's going to take that home, that Maurice Richard. Let's see. Kane came all the way up here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Eighth place in the standings. Patrick Kane for points. Holy crap. And goals here. Patrick Kane tied for third place. What a season. Oh, my God. Uh, Matthews, Ovechkin, Pasternak, and Kane right there. Very, very nice. Guys, look at this. Lucas Reichel may, may steal the Calder Trophy from Matty Veneers. Absolutely robbing him. 41 points, very good. But technically, this is not his rookie year playing 11 games. So, I don't know how that works. But we'll take it. I don't care. I don't care at all. I'm actually very happy with that. So it looks like Lucas Reichel is going to take the Calder. Unless there's an amazing rookie goalie. Which there was not. So wow. Great, great season. Even Soderblom. All right. All right as a rookie goaltender. Pretty solid. Now goalies. Let's see. Thatcher Demko. Pretty solid year. I mean amazing win-loss ratio. Holy crap. Five shutouts which is decent. Looks pretty good. Not a great goal year though. Nine nine fourteen is the best save percentage. So it looks like Demko's gonna be taking home that Vesna trophy. But uh yeah, let's let's go to the playoffs. He wins the cup. Here actually this would be Whoa, this would be easier if we just sim it like this. See what happens. Okay, hopefully Jonathan Taze could possibly do something. I don't even remember what team we traded him to. Maybe Calgary, I think. But uh, hopefully you can do something. Make us proud here in Chicago. Right now, Toronto against Washington. Toronto's my favorite team. That that's a that's a cool matchup. Whoa, AHL playoffs actually. We made the AHL playoffs. I I thought our AHL team was awful to be honest. Let's get. I know it may be sort of cheese, but let's get our rookies down here and play, cause. Because there's not many rookies we got down here right now, I don't think. Except, like, Bowden and stuff. But we might as well while we can, I think. So, yeah. Go to roster moves. Let's see. I think... Here, we'll, go, we'll sort... Where's age? Oh, okay. Well, I guess they don't have age in here. Let's, let's throw down Peltier. Lucas Reichel. Had a great season. Doesn't need to go down there. Ryan Suzuki can, can go down. And Pierre Oliver Joseph. They can get some. Okay. Maybe not. Here. Peltier and Suzuki can get some playing time down in the minors there. Should help out the team as well. So uh, that would be very nice actually. 
and let, we got to get them some experience in uh, the playoffs. Doesn't matter if it's AHL or NHL, as long as they can kind of rise to the occasion when we need them, that's all that matters. So, 1-1 one, one series against, who is that, Milwaukee, I think. Milwaukee, Nashville's farm system. Let's see how this goes. Oh, actually, no, it's we're 1-0. and oh. All right. Okay, so 1-0 one, one, oh, series lead. Let's see, let's see what happens. Game number two, we take the 2-0 lead, 3-2 win. Milwaukee fights back, though. It stays alive, but it's a 3-2 overtime win to send us to the second round. There we go. Whoa, whoa. It's a seven-game series in the first round. Oh, my God, and we lose. What a comeback. We lose three straight. What a joke. All right, whatever. All right, let's hope Let's hope our players don't bring that to, uh, to the playoffs whenever we make it, if we make it one day. Jesus, oh, my God. All right, forget forget I ever said anything. Forget I even sent those guys down. That that was embarrassing. <laughs> All right, let's see. The Leafs are deep in the playoffs. I wish. Kraken made it deep. The Rangers in Boston. That's an interesting conference finals. That'd be crazy. And <laughs> same with Kraken and Boston. I feel like Boston's gonna take this. If the Kraken take this, I'll literally lose my mind. Two one Boston. 3-1 Boston. Boston one win away from winning the Stanley Cup in 2023. And it's over. The Boston Bruins win the Cup. How the hell did that happen? Oh, my God. And did I skip? I may have skipped the, uh, the, what's it called? The draft lottery. I may have skipped it. Oh, I guess the awards are not out yet. I got, I got to wait a second, apparently. Let's see this. When are they going to come out? There you go. The Boston Bruins. Stanley Cup champions of 2023. There you go. So Boston Stanley Cup champions. President's trophy goes to the Colorado Avalanche. Clarence Campbell, Seattle, and Boston Prince of Wales. So individual. Connor McDavid, Art Ross Trophy winner. Third time in a row. Hart Memorial Trophy goes to David Pasternak. James Norris, Drew Doughty, Lady Bing, Pasternak. Lucas Reichel takes home the Calder. Let's go, Reichel. Krejci, Conn Smythe. What a comeback. David Krejci comes back from the check and gets a big Conn Smythe trophy. Oh, my God. And Bossa wins the cup. That is actually an awesome story. That's actually cool. I, I do hate David Krejci, but that is still pretty awesome. Uh, Jacob Markstrom, Vesna, Varlamov. So, yeah, Seattle's coach, Jack Adams, he definitely deserves that. Kopitar, Frank J. Selke, trophy winner. No qu er, no surprise for that. Pasternak, Ted Lindsay, and Matthews gets the Maurice Richard. Uh, I guess let's sit a few days. Oh, you know what? Kane, Kane may have rejected her offer. Let's, let's try to re-sign him again before the draft. We can possibly give him. Here, let's offer him. We'll offer him eight. We'll offer him eight to stay. Because we, we can possibly trade him in a package here. And I'm sure Kane signing extension here. Us trading him. I'm sure it's not really that much of a snake move. Because of Kane being here so long. We, we If we're trading him, we've already worked it out with him before. That's that's our logic. Let's sim up to this draft and make sure that uh, I didn't skip anything. If I skip the draft water, I'm going to be very upset. I don't know why it'd be this late, though. It's never been this late. Wow, I really did skip it. Holy crap. How did I mess up that bad? Wow. All right. Well, I guess we'll view the draft class and see see uh, where it says we're picking. Oh, it doesn't look like we're picking up here at all. That's not, that's not fun. Here, let's go draft board, actually. Draft board. We are supposed to pick... Seventh, Se we take seventh. We'll take seventh, and twenty seventh, twenty seventh, seventh. Yeah, so we got a decent amount of picks this draft. That's that's actually really that's really exciting. That's very solid. So it looks like Kravchenko is going second. An amazing year. That is actually insane. Uh, Topi Vitinen gonna go third. It says all superstar abilities. NHL ready. Looks also solid. 
Defense a defenseman, not a fan of. I don't think I do want a defense a defenseman. We are going to be drafting a forward this draft if we can. And you know what? This guy might be our pick. Casper Haltonen, 6'4", 200 pounds, unstoppable force, seeing eye, two years ETA, not too shabby at all. That could be a very, very good pick for us. So, guys, uh, I'm glad you guys got, you know, a little a little idea of what we're going to be doing next episode. Obviously, it's going to be the draft in the off season, but you guys probably know who we're going to be picking. I do think that's going to be our guy. So, thank you guys for watching, too. We could make the playoffs. But now we got an important draft here, so tune back in, uh, in probably tomorrow. So, see you guys. Thanks for watching. Peace out.